Hello and welcome to another little blog by me, Lawrence Grant of Photos Forever. Today I'm just going to talk to you about some uh, uh, lens adapters, so let's get straight into it. Q intro. Yes, uh, today I'm going to just run through a couple of little adapters that you may have may not seen um, while you're on the internet. Um, this is um, really just to show you the sort of stuff that you can you can buy. These are made by KNF Concepts, and they are very very good quality adapters, and they're not expensive at all. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the this is the Fuji one. Now these adapters made of steel and I think they're made of aluminium but they're certainly well made the, um, the you know the, the quality of the finish and the catches and the springs and the, and the painting and everything is all pretty good as you can see now this one is a uh, Fuji Fuji this, this puts Fuji cameras uh, uh, Fuji lenses onto Nikon cameras so um, no, I've got that wrong, haven't I? This is to do this one puts <coughs> it's a Nikon fit. So, what you can do is we can put a Nikon lens on a Fuji. Now, there's probably not a lot of point putting a Nikon lens that's got um, the built in AF and the electronics because it's you're not going to be able to operate it because these are just purely manual adapters. But you can take something like a Samyang. You know, which is a fully manual. This is a cine, cine lens, but you can take a, a standard uh, Nikon fit manual, and then put this on. Uh, let's get the the dots on the right way. So there we go. So two red dots there, and then we can then turn that onto there. So now what we've got is we've got a Nikon lens, which will now fit onto a Fuji X series camera. So take off that. And then we should be able to dot dot line up the dots, and then we've got here. Now we've got um, a fully manual lens onto a Fuji camera. Now this is a full frame lens. So what we've got is this is 24 mil prime T 1.5. So that's going to be a 30 what 36 mil prime lens, and it's you know it's one point you know 1 point, 1 1.4 uh, f 1.4 equivalent and and you're going to have a super wide open lens there you can you can see you might be able to see that you know how wide that can open certainly when I take it off you will notice that that can be opened up completely so there there we go so that's so that is allowing me to put a manual lens onto a Fuji camera and operate it again fully manual. Now if I put a Nikon lens on there then I wouldn't have any just show you uh, there's no control on here at all not like on the on the um, on the Samyang so really pretty pointless trying to put that lens on a Fuji camera so that's not that's not the intention, but it is the intention of putting a manual lens onto a Fuji camera, particularly if you wanted to do something with a cine cine lens. So that's that's that one that allows you to put um, that Nikon onto a Fuji, and then the other one I've got, um, which is fairly new, and I say these are not particularly expensive. This one allows you to put um, this is a Nikon allows you to put a Nikon fit again a Nikon fit again no point in putting uh, a fully automatic but a Nikon uh, like this like this lens let's get it on the right way um, where are we where are we where are we oh, dot 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 uh, hide me the dot why don't you yeah okay so there we go so again, that could go on to a Canon that's designed for a Canon RF mount. Again, there's not a lot of camera, Canon cameras with RF. They're all EF mounts. But 
uh, as they pro as they progress uh, the mount becomes more more and more popular you'll be able to put some of the the uh, Samyang lenses so if you if you haven't if they haven't got or you don't own a Samyang RF prime lens cine lens whatever you can use one of your older lenses what Nikon or uh, whatever you've got Nikon Fuji whatever whatever you've got to make it there'll be an adapter that you'll be able to get from K and F. They don't make every adapter for every lens. There are restrictions. I have noticed a lot of Nikon uh, adapters, particularly they're, they're not available. So particularly Nikon and Canon, you can't do everything. But uh, certainly, a lots of uh, Olympus and Sony's, uh, Panasonic thing. They do. They, you can more or less get every variations. Again, it's it's just a manual converter. Um, and what else? What else have we got? So we've got the what well, we've got a Canon RF to Nikon, and let's say you can then inter intermix to anything you want. Um, I wouldn't probably think that I would want to put a Fuji onto a Nikon, but I'm sure that they do a Nikon a Nikon fit to a Fuji as well, as well as a as a Nikon lens onto a Fuji camera. Was that and the other adapter just wanted to show you these are um these are macro again they're just little tubes macro tubes and these allow me to uh to to, to convert my uh, fuji lenses into a macro lens so here we can put there's a 10 mil and a 16 mil or a combination of 10 and 16 to 26 mil if you want to get really really close up so again you put your your ring onto your fuji these are made for fuji so you put that onto onto the as i say you can you can double up and then you'll have um you'll have uh 26 you'll have 26 mil and you'll go closer into the and then you put this onto your fuji camera and that will make your lens a macro lens and you will be really really close in you will have to um you'll have to operate it manually um but that will be really really close in just trying to see if i get that close i mean we're going that close literally um i can't get that close in fact i can't get that that, that close in because of the 26 mil so that just shows you that you can get an adapter to convert onto that so all in all you can mix and match all these things it's just a shame that the manufacturers didn't all get together and and produce you know a universal mount you know we we, we could have dreamed but they're not they're never going to do that because they're never going to agree on anything you've got your your nikon f f mount you know which has been going for many many years you've got your nikon f mount You've got your, your Fuji X mount, and of course you've got your um, you've got your Canon RF mount or AF 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 mount. So they're all they're all interconnectable at the moment, which is a far cry to what it was maybe ten years ago when you couldn't really connect much much uh, anyone else's lens to anyone else's. But unfortunately, you, they've all got to be manual lenses with that. Um, you can buy adapters like this um, many of you know that you can buy these speed booster uh, optical uh, adapters uh, metabones and uh, the canon version but you're talking the best part 500 or over 500 pound so ju just really just to give you a, a little bit of an insight and what you can do to interconnect uh, and move around lenses obviously you can't get every combination but this has just allowed me to to be able to use my few samyang nikon lenses that i've been using on here but i'll be able to use them on my Fu fuji uh, x series camera and, and so on so anyway i hope that's just uh, helped you get an insight to to what what is available and uh i'll catch you next time don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you wish and, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.